YouTube. It's your boy, Super Scooter Guy, coming at you with another moto vlog. And today, what I want to talk about, it's been a while since my last vlog. It's been kind of cold out here in Salem, Massachusetts. I'm still hanging on to this riding season. It's November 1st. Most people who know me, I tend to put my bike up no later than November 15th. So I'm getting close to that time where it's time to wrap it up. But I'm, I'm keeping it going because I want to make sure I can do this. I don't want to give it up. Um, but today what I really want to talk about is kind of aftermarket um, horns for your bike. Um, so I had a Kickstarter that I was involved in um, through a company um, called the Screaming Banshee. Um, a few years ago, they created a air horn, um, very much um, loud, extremely loud, 100 and I believe 23 decibels, something to that level. Um, where essentially they were able to create a horn that's supposed to be much louder to allow you to be heard and cars to be aware of your presence. So for me, one of the bigger things, especially being on a maxi scooter, is that maxis tend to not be anywhere near as loud as like their motorcycle counterparts. Um, and one of the things that I felt like kind of doing was either adding a you know, maybe an aftermarket exhaust, potentially, or just something that kind of made my bike louder, like, you know, taking out the DB killer or, or something, or even I even thought of a random, like, just taking off the exhaust altogether to make it crazy loud. But um, kind of what I've heard in the, you know, from the, you know, the bike enthusiast, obviously that messes up kind of the air intake and the, um, fuel mixture kind of your engine and can it actually cause kickbacks into your engine so you definitely wouldn't want to do a, something where you're kind of taking off the whole um, exhaust so for me it was kind of like all right what can I do to kind of make sure that I'm seen and heard while on a maxi but you know find a way to a not spend too much crazy amount of money <laughs> and also not impact my bike in a way that now I might be messing up with its mechanics or doing something I definitely shouldn't be. Um, so for me, when I saw this Kickstarter, um, the Screaming Banshee, it came up, uh, the company came up with a new model, which was a little bit more easier plug and play type of model, um, air horn. Um, it actually allows you to even add on a, a high beam kind of sensor so like when you press the horn it also um, kind of pulsates the high beams as well um, and you know the direction seemed relatively simple um, it pretty much allows you to kind of take out the stock horn kind of replug it into its uh, original um, port and then pretty much run the wires all the way back to the battery and um, and just ground um, ground the horn. So it was pretty much, you know, pretty simple plug and play operation. Just crimping the wires um, with the uh, terminals that they give you. Um, you know, and just, and just kind of using it. So what I decided to do, um, I did not want to add it to my high beams just because in that situation you were forced to kind of tap splice into the high beam wire um, and for me I'm just not as comfortable splicing into my electrical system I'd rather have something a running directly from the battery um, where maybe you're just um, hooking it up to the battery but not necessarily cutting into wires that attach to something else so for me I just wasn't as comfortable doing that just in case you know maybe the voltage would have been a little bit too high or something like that and it would have impacted that um, but what I did decide to do because it has a, um, a fuse I did feel comfortable having it directly to my battery and not kind of blowing uh, 
no the voltage with the fuse that it comes with so again for me i just kind of hooked it up into the battery grounded it and plugged it into the stock horn connection and that's kind of how the new model works so i've tested out this new horn it seems pretty pretty loud i feel like i can ensure that i will be seen and heard um, but what's your take on kind of changing your stock system to something else um you know some people feel like hey i don't want to mess with my bike at all um you don't want to kind of do anything that could potentially mess it up in any type of way um, but for me this seemed like a pretty simple operation um just to kind of ensure that i got a little better safety with people around me being able to see and hear me um but again, what's your kind of standpoint and kind of making major modifications from what's stock in your bike? I haven't done anything too crazy when it comes to modifications. As you can see, this screen is not the stock screen. It's uh, a Givy screen, uh, which for me, Oh, wow, this intersection is kind of interesting. Um, but I have a Givy screen, which this is kind of like my winter screen. Um, helps extend my rising season so it's only this I have again the horn and that's kind of it that's all I've really done to this bike so again what's your take on it uh, I'm gonna kind of press the horn I didn't want to do it and just do it to nobody and just have someone feel pissed off at me but I'm gonna press the horn let me know what you think this is the screaming banshee horn so when you press it once that's how loud it is when you press and hold, it's, it blares. So to me, that's definitely loud enough to feel like people are gonna know of my existence, especially in the dark at night. Um, one of the other quick modifications I made is to my helmet where I added an EL wire um, that's powered by USB. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of loud enough to definitely get heard by the world around me. So again for me really quick modification um only thing i actually had to do i had to splice the wires of the actual um horn just because they weren't long enough to reach the back um, where my battery is but outside of splicing that positive wire there was nothing really to it um so i felt like this was definitely a great modification to make over the stock horn and Again, I feel a little bit safer knowing that I can grab people's attention. Um, when I got hit on the FDR drive in New York, I honked my horn at the guy. I felt like it was loud enough. He pretty much just darted into my lane um, and just kind of hit me and, and I fell off the bike. But I feel like maybe if I would have had something maybe a little bit louder, you know, maybe he would have heard me a, a split second sooner and not just ran right into me. Um, so that was kind of my major, major motivation to getting this horn, having that experience of getting hit from someone not paying attention, not seeing me, even though I'm on a big old super scooter and I'm a big old guy, he should have been able to see me but didn't. And maybe he would have been able to hear me if maybe my horn was loud enough or my exhaust was loud enough. So for me, this was important to do. I want to know what your take is. Is this something that you would do or something you would be interested in doing, kind of modifying your horn? I can kind of give you uh, a few tips and tricks as to how this horn works. Again, when you press it once, it's just a friendly loud blast. If you hold it, it's a blaring, you know, pulsating blast. And I think, you know, it's definitely something where people will know you're, you're the big dog coming down the road, even if you're in, in a little 50cc Vespa. So again, leave comments below. What do you think? Is this a mod you would do? Let me know. Deuces.